Hi guys, welcome to Empower and my name is Caroline Portanz. Thank you so much as usual for watching my YouTube channel and welcome to Motivation Monday. In this video, I want to talk about stepping up your game a little bit and going from good to great. You know, when we look around and we compare ourselves to other nurses, we can usually say that most nurses are extremely good. They do a good job, they're on time, they get the job done, or are all of them great? I can be completely honest with you, very, very few of them are great. And to go from good to great, it's actually not that much of a jump. In my perception, um, from being a nurse for a very long time, in my opinion, the determining factor to go from good to great is to add emotion to everything that you do. So when you are with your patient, make them emotionally feel like they matter to you. When you are talking amongst your coworkers, make it so that on an emotional level, they really do feel like you're there for them and that they can count on you if they need you. Let me give you an example of how this kind of plays out in real life. So one time I had a patient that was pretty needy, but I was up for the job. You know, I was like, okay, that's fine. I know she's going to be needy, but I'm here for her. I'm going to do it. So every time she asked for something, I went and got it and that was it. I just did it fast. I did it you know, relatively happily and I just, I got the job done. Anything she asked for, I did. And then I gave report to this other nurse who was really a great nurse. And I'm sure that he did like the exact same thing that I did. You know, every time she asked for something, she did, he did it. He did everything in a timely manner. He was responsible. He's a smart person. He did a great job, I'm sure. What's interesting though, is that when the person was making the rounds, that patient could not stop talking about him. And I was just kind of standing there like looking at this and watching her talk and rave about him. And I was like, what did he do differently than I did? And then so I couldn't help myself. I had to ask the patient. I said, what was it about him that made you just like love him so much? And I was like, I'd like to know because I want people to love me as much as you loved the care that you got from him. And she said, you know, everything that he did, it was just gentle and I could feel emotion from it. And I felt like I mattered. So right then I could see a very clear distinction between what I did what I did was I got the job done, very like, very to the point, very on time, but there's no like, you know, emotion. And then what he did was he did the same thing, but he added a little bit of emotion. So try to get that emotional connection. It'll help you enjoy your job so much better. So ever since then, I try to add emotion to everything that I do, and it really helps me enjoy everything so much more. All right, guys, I hope you like this Motivation Monday tip and have a wonderful week. And I can't wait to see you next week. I'll talk to you then. Bye. Let's stay connected, guys. No matter where you are in the world, join me here every Monday at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time for the weekly nursing pre-huddle before your regular huddle. This will help you start your week off on the right note. Also, get email notifications as soon as the videos are published. By joining my email list, you will receive 25% discount on my best-selling books. The first book, How to Succeed in Nursing School, has been called the best nursing school preparation guide for thousands of students just like you. Many say it's a must-read before entering nursing school. In this book, I share how I went from a very average student to graduating nursing school with honors. It also includes tips on how to choose your nursing school, how to be successful in nursing school, and how to stay motivated and driven while in nursing school. The second book, New Nurse, How to Get, Keep, and Love Your Nursing Job, is an outstanding book to help nurses start their careers on the right foot or rekindle their love for nursing. We all join this profession for altruistic reasons, but sometimes the stress of the job has us beaten down. This book, I promise, will help you re ignite your love for the amazing work you do. And finally, by joining, you will also have access to a 40% discount for my How to Study for Anatomy and Physiology program. In this program, I share how I went from a C average student to two semesters later was on the Dean's List. I've shared these tips with thousands of other students and they have phenomenal results. Click here for information on how to join my email list. And oh yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel also. I'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.